Breaking news. Be warned. Russia warns Trump of tough response to new U.S. militarized space force. Russia has warned the U.S. of a tough response after President Donald Trump pledged to make America dominant in space and create a military space force. Speaking at a space policy event at the White House on Monday, President Trump announced he is directing the Department of Defense and Pentagon to immediately begin the process necessary to establish the sixth branch of the armed force, the Space Force. He claimed space is going to be important monetarily and militarily and that the U.S. does not want China and Russia and other countries to lead. Russian parliamentarian Viktor Bondarev has immediately shot back at Trump's remarks and voiced Russia's concern he said, the militarization of space is a path toward catastrophe. He said, the militarization of space is a path toward catastrophe. Mr. Bondarev claimed if the U.S. is to create a new space force, it would have to leave the 1967 Outer Space Treaty which establishes rules for the use and exploration of space. If the U.S. abandons the treaty, Mr. Bondarev said it could escalate to an international arms race in space. He continued, there's still remnants of common sense in the American political elite. But if the U.S. withdraws from the treaty, then of course, not only ours but other states will follow with a tough response aimed at ensuring global security. Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova also responded to President Trump's new plans. M. Zakharova said during a news briefing in Samra that the most alarming thing about this news is the aim of his instructions, namely to ensure U.S. domination in space. She also accused the U.S. of nurturing plans to bring out weapons into space with the aim of possibly staging military action there. Donald Trump has previously declared space is the new war-fighting domain. M. Zakharov warned that if realized, Donald Trump's plans would have a destabilizing effect on strategic stability and international security. She also insisted Russia's branch of the military called Space Forces are purely defensive. The creation of a militarized Space Force is not a new concept as the development of a U.S. militarized space program has been a significant element of national security since the Eisenhower administration. This process was accelerated during the Cold War, following the quick expansion of the Soviet Union's satellite and space programs. Speaking to CNN, military analyst U.S. Lt. Col. Rick Franken claimed most U.S. military leaders understand the U.S. needs to be the dominant force in space. He said, I hate the term the final frontier but space is the ultimate high ground. Space doesn't dominate one small geographic area. It dominates continents, oceans. Most military thinkers know this is the battle space of the future. 